We use cell phones every day to stay connected with our family, work, and communities. But have you ever thought about how your cell phone works? A carrier has an extensive network of cell sites and switches designed to send and receive signals from everyone's cell phones. To maximize coverage and network availability, carriers place cell sites throughout communities in strategic patterns, as each site can only cover a specific area and number of users. The strategic site patterns ensure that the coverage radius of adjoining sites, often depicted as hexagons, overlap just slightly to provide seamless handoff of calls between sites. As cells are to your body, cell sites are to your network. All must be properly connected to allow the coordinated transmission of information. Each cell site is composed of antennas connecting back to the equipment shelter. Antennas are mounted to calculated specifications in order to provide optimal coverage of the surrounding area. Inside the equipment shelter, you will find the equipment used to monitor incoming and outgoing calls for the individual cell site. Groups of cell sites are connected back to what is known as the switch. If the individual sites are the cells of the network body, the switch represents the brain of a wireless network. It communicates with cell sites in mass to track the location of each cell phone and determine the fastest way to connect a call anywhere in the world. This complex navigation includes connections through the carrier's network, other carrier's networks, landlines, and the internet. When you place a call, the antenna in your phone reaches out to the cell site nearest to you, which decodes your transmission and sends the call to the switch. The switch determines where the person you are trying to call is currently located and routes your call accordingly. This process happens in a fraction of a second, demonstrating the power of wireless connectivity. Sometimes your cell phone is unable to communicate with a cell site. When this happens, you are in what is known as a dead zone. These are caused by various reasons, such as physical barriers, or perhaps a cell site simply is not within range of your current location. Dropped and failed calls are other issues that can happen from time to time. Networks must be well designed and optimized to make sure that initiated calls are not dropped between sites. When a single cell site is flooded with more calls than it is designed to handle, calls of the site may fail. Wireless networks are complex pieces of our modern society. They involve a lot of moving parts and require seamless coordination in order to provide the connectivity we expect everywhere and anywhere. At Centerline Solutions, we are the ultimate enablers of wireless connectivity as we work to design, build, modify, and maintain networks throughout the nation. Together, Centerline Solutions is unlocking the future of communication.